All right, look what Mr. Postman brought me. Thank you very much, Mr. Postman. Uh, I'm here to do a uh, boring, crappy unboxing, which is boring. <laughs> Everybody does unboxings nowadays. And uh, yeah, we're going to do it under crappy lighting on the floor. Uh, reason being is uh, I injured myself probably about a month ago. <laughs> Pretty bad. Uh, I received this during that delivery. Could not find the time. I really wanted to do an unboxing. Could not find the time or the gumption or the strength or anything to actually do this. I'm in quite a bit of pain. Uh, so without further ado, uh, let's just start. Uh, I might unbox it then be back, you know. Well, I'll cut it open. Um, well, let's see what I can do here. <laughs> <laughs> Zap, you keep changing your mind. Yeah, I know. Boy, I can't. Okay, let me just look at that. If I'm not in focus, you can complain. <laughs> We're going to cut the cut the edges off. Or open up the tape. We're going to do this left-handed, which is not my strong suit right now. That's pretty well my left side that I messed up. And here we go. Let's see what's inside. Oh, we got a pad. <clears throat> we got a pad. We got, yep, we got pad. And uh, sorry, I inadvertently turned you off. <laughs> so we'll have to edit these together. Do like a little whoop. <laughs> edit it together. So we got a pad. And then we got a case. I knew about the case. So, yep, that's what you get. That's it. Done. Boxing done. Okay. Uh, more light required. Flash may help. I'm doing a video. Can I do the video with the flash? No, it's okay. So we're going to pull this out and then I'll kick the box away or I'll sit on the box, whatever. And we'll take a look. Be right back. And I do like this, even though it's upside down, but it's right side up when you open it because the zippers right here probably go this way, this way, be right side up. So I do like that. Uh, it's really nice. I, I think having a case, I wish... Ascar would do that on their lower end, you know, like the FRA 300 and the FRA 400, you know, at least give you a case. Uh, that would help, or at least give you the option to purchase a case. That would be kind of nice. Um, but without further ado, let's see what we got. What's in the box? What's in the box? No, hey, whoop. Yep. Did I get you intrigued? <laughs> let's see what's in the box. Oh, we got some instructions we got uh we got the dew shield it's all wrapped in plastic i'd probably have to do that off camera and just show it off and of course this and i i want to be careful because i know lifting these uh, <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna hurt me <laughs> so so let's uh let, let me go ahead and uh work at this for a sec and get it out of the box i might go ahead and unwrap it without you guys uh sorry you don't get to see the total unwrap job but it'd just be easier for me to use two hands with my injury so i'll be back all right we're back i'll do that again take two all right we're back uh yeah I like the color. Uh, I'm actually sort of a like orange since I bought an orange Harley. So <laughs> there you go. Uh, yeah, I got some uh, dovetail holders, uh, which is nice, you know, for for doing the the ASI that I usually use. Got the top dovetail holder for my for my guide scope. Uh, you know. Uh, this is interesting. I didn't see this on any other reviews. This actually comes off, goes on, and sort of protects it. And I, I like that idea. And simple fact that I'll probably be using a, uh, a ZWO EAF as long as this could be there and just turn, you know, just fine. I might just leave it on. I don't. I don't know, you know, because I worry about you know wet, damp, you know it doing up and then causing issues uh the focuser seems fine i'm not gonna complain i should make sure it's loose down here yeah it's not bad it was actually loose the the focuser's combined i don't feel any crunchiness so you know like nebula photos i don't really 
I don't feel the same thing. Although I'm not very picky. Um, these are tools to me. These are not, you know, yeah, they're, they're like works of art, but they're tools in the end. Uh, just like my cameras are tools. It's what I get out of them that makes it so special. And, uh, yeah, they got the field rotator, which is nice. It's got, you know, you got the, the scale there so you can actually dial it back in. I'm waiting for ZWO to do their field rotator. Be kind of nice. Um, you know, I've got the field flattener. Now, the 0.8 field, field reduction is on back order right now, but I'm not worried about it. You know, we're pretty well cloud season right now, so we'll see if I get it at night and I'm feeling up to it, I might try. So, um, that's it on a nutshell. Uh, you know, I don't have a lot. And like I said, I could unbox the field flattener, but maybe, maybe not. Depends on how I'm feeling. So I want to get this video up. So again, my name is World of Zap. Uh, I'm known as Angry Bear in the Astro Forums uh, and on Cloudy Nights. So if you want to visit me there. So I will also put in a word for Angry Bear. And you can go to angrybear.space. Uh, don't do HTTPS, it won't get you there, but that'll get you to my, um, to some of my photos. I don't have a lot up there now, and I'm still learning, you know. Um, technically, I've only been doing this for maybe about a year and a half now. And, you know, I want to thank ZWO for getting me from point A to point B. Um, I did start way back and didn't do the ASI Air and... You know, I did the whole laptop next to the mount, hooked up to the scope, and that was it. So, but again, really appreciate you all for joining, and uh, peace. Aha, field flattener. Probably won't fit in the case. <laughs> I think it's going to be too long. I need to find a, when I pull this off, I need to find a... A cover just go on this this way this is off and then I can have the field flattener I can just attach it uh, I don't know if I can fit in the case hopefully we can figure out something even if we have to cut some foam so again that's a PS thank you